you already know what this is if you're looking at it. It's the Dr. What is it, Dr. Killigan's Premium Pantry Moth Traps with Pheromones Prime. Safe, non-toxic, with no insecticides, sticky glue traps for food and cupboards moths in your kitchen. Now, at my mom's house, I open up the cabinet. She's got some bug problems. Uh, I've used some sticky traps before. Check out the uh, video. I think I used the Catchmaster, whatever those were. But Catchmaster is not going to work on the pantry moths unless they fly to the trap. So this has got pheromones. For people that don't know what pheromones are, uh, animals, humans, men, women, when you're with somebody, if you're attracted to them, you, your body puts out pheromones and the other person's subconscious can smell it, detect it, and it, uh, it shows that you're attracted to them and they might be attracted to the pheromones and you know what happens then. Uh, and then you're, uh, you're in divorce court. So uh, these things have the pheromone. It's a moth trap. Now, if you ever open up the pantry, I don't, why do they call it a pantry? If you ever open up your kitchen cabinets, that's what I call them. I don't have a pantry, I have a kitchen cabinet. Opened up mom's kitchen cabinet and I saw a little bug flying around. Does that mean there's a problem? It's kind of like cockroaches. If you see one, you, you got a problem. You just don't know it at the time. Most of these pantry moths, kitchen cabinet moths, come out at nighttime when it's dark. So you're saying, well, if the cabinets are closed, it's dark. So why aren't they out there? I don't know. Maybe they're sleeping in the daytime. Who knows? You need a Dr. Killian's advanced formula pantry moth trap. Six moth traps. So what happens is if you go to the store, there's a whole science behind this. If you go to the store and you buy rice or wheat or certain products, something with the larva and the, uh, I don't know, I failed, what did I fail? Science, I failed, I failed everything. I, I was just a disastrous student. And I, I ended up making more money than all of my teachers combined uh, later on in life. So what can you say? Um, they said I would go nowhere. Who knew? And uh, so you get the, uh, the bugs that fly into the wheat and the rice and the pastitos, your pastas, and then if it's not airtight or sealed the right way or you open up the package, you get a bug in there and next thing you know you got bugs flying around the cabinet and they come out, like I said, at nighttime and they go and they eat your, uh, they're not harmful if you eat the food, if you boil the food, you might see some bugs floating around on the top of the water, not harmful to you at all, it's not going to make you sick. Uh, you don't want to do that with guests. They'll say, hey, is this uh, rice with bugs? And the Dr. Killigan's moth trap is supposed to take care of that. Now you look at the reviews online, some people say, I wasted my money, it didn't do anything. If it didn't do anything, you didn't waste your money, you just found out that it didn't work in your situation. Uh, it's just like with the uh, catch master sticky things or when you set out a, a cockroach thing or if you set out a mouse trap or a skunk trap or a rat trap just because you didn't catch it doesn't mean that the trap is bad it just means that you didn't catch it and maybe you're trapping the wrong way or the trap is not the right thing for you but um, these things are definitely not cheap let's see what are these two uh, six twelve so they're like 250 a piece not that bad. If you got a bug problem, as I was saying, some people say they put these in their cabinet, they got a zillion bugs on there within a couple days or a couple hours, and other people say they put it in the cabinet and they found nothing for weeks and they're really angry that they threw out their money on the product. Now, it's not the product, it's just uh, the situation. And the nice thing is, it is safe, non-toxic, so it's, it's a sticky trap. It puts out a scent. Those, uh, those pantry, kitchen cabinet bugs are going to fly around. They'll be attracted by the scent. And I believe, I could be wrong, but I think they're catching the male. Of course, it's always the male that's looking for, you know. Uh, they catch the male, the male, the male uh, gets stuck on the trap, can't uh, work his thing anymore, can't do his magic, and the uh, female can't produce anything, and it's over with. It's, it's done. Now, uh, I'll leave a link in the uh, video description if you want to buy these. And uh, 
no guarantee they're going to work. If you've got the bugs floating around and you see them in your flour or your rice or your pasta, you need a moth trap like this that's going to attract one of the sexes and take it out. And if you don't get that, these things, they'll just be there forever. It's just like with all the, the cockroach and the mice, and they don't go away. They just, they don't disappear. Even if you clean, you could clean the cabinets, and what you should do, you should throw out the product that you've, that's got these bugs. You should throw out everything in the cabinet that is pasta, or rice, or uh, flour, and uh, start over. But this is just a fact of life. The, you get these, even if you have a clean house, a lot of times when you buy this from the store, not this, when you buy your food from the store, the, the bugs or the larva, that stuff is in the package and it might show up. It might show up. Maybe it's taking a nap. Maybe it's taking a siesta. Uh, so a good price, it's worth spending the money. If it doesn't work, I know if you buy it on Amazon, if it doesn't work, you can uh, return it within your window. And if it does work, then maybe you solved a problem. So I bought these for my mom. Going over there tomorrow, I'm going to put one in the cabinet. I don't care if there are no bugs on there, if it works. If I catch a few of them, I'm happy. If I catch uh, a lot of them, I'm happy. If I catch none of them, that's okay. I'm not going to return it. I'm taking my chances that this is going to take care of the problem. She doesn't have a big problem that I'm aware of, but you know, for a couple dollars, it's a lot cheaper than hiring a, an exterminator. And I've talked to an exterminator about this, somebody who I know, who will obviously someone who I know, and he said, uh, don't waste your money. Just uh, go out and buy the traps or clean it up yourself because they can't really do anything. They'll come into your house, they'll throw all the food out, they'll spray the cabinet, and it's not going to take care of the problem because most of the time those bugs are flying around in the house or in the cabinet or outside the cabinet or in the kitchen and spraying it's not really going to take care of it. You need a trap like this. So for the price, a lot cheaper than exterminator. If it works, good. What can I say? Don't forget check out the video description and that thumbs up and all that groovy stuff. Thank you. You were awesome. See ya.